Okay, everybody, in today's video, we're going to do question 24 from paper three from the 2023 summer Edexcel maths paper. Has had the kids trembling for a whole year now. But don't fear now, because Mao is here. Never fear, Mao's here. And we're going to go through this question together, and I'm going to make those trembles into hers. From this, you're not going to be trembling anymore, but you're going to feel that feeling, you know, on a cold night, you get inside your bed and you put your covers on and your whole body shakes. That's what we're going to feel today. So please, come on. Now, there is a total of Y counters in a box. Right? So how many counters are in the box? We don't know. There are Y counters. Okay? There are X pink counters and five blue counters in the box. The rest of the counters are green. Okay. Cool. So, you know, there are Y counters in the box. And from inside this box, we have X amount of pink counters. And we have five blue counters. And then the rest of them are green. So basically, the rest of them are whatever was inside the box minus x plus 5. Because x plus 5 gives you the pink counters and the blue counters together. And I also want to uh, introduce my associates here. We have uh, Kuali and our, and our student Samaya and, and whoever else who wants to speak up. Who, who yeah, wants to speak, speak up. So they're going to chime in whenever I, I get something wrong. Also, Kuali is 12 years old. And he wants me to say that so you guys know how cool he is. Anyway, does everybody agree with this, right? So there are X amount of pink counters, five amount of blue counters, and the rest of them are Y minus um, the, the blue and the, the, the blue and the green counter, uh, the blue and the pink counters put together. Okay, cool. And then they tell us the ratio of X to Y counters is equal to one to three. So remember when we have a ratio question like this, straight away you should be doing something like this. So X to Y can be written as one over three, where X is one and, uh, and well, yes. Just, just let's not complicate it. Now we can solve, and the reason why I'm gonna solve for X, uh, you'll see in a minute, you'll see in a minute. I'm assuming you guys have read the question already, okay? So. Now, watch how what I'm going to do. I'm going to times both sides by y to give me x is equal to y over 3. Right? Because 1 times y, if you put it, basic math size. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you understand what I'm doing. So now, I'm going to times both sides by 3. So I'm going to get y equals to 3x. This is basic solving. I'm assuming everybody understood this. Now, I'm going to go back here, right? Now, look, I'm going to change all the probabilities. So how many blue counters do I have? X over, X over Y. No, so that's pink. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. How many blue? Let me just write it. Let me just write it down so I don't get myself confused. So pink, blue, and green. Okay. So now look, now, do you agree with this bit, Samaya? Yeah. Y equals 3X. Now, I, I'm, it's a probability question. So what's the probability I'm going to get a, a, a pink counter? X over Y. X over Y, but Y equals 3X. Agree? Yeah. So that's pink. What's the probability that I'm going to get a blue counter? 5 over 3X. 5 over 3X. So the green probability, as we just said, is 2x plus 5 over 3x. Is that understood, everybody? Yeah. Now, this was basically the hard, the grade 9 bit. Everything else, after, once you've got this, everything else is easy. So, Kuali, you take it away. What do I do after this now? Okay, so what we do now is we find the probability that he takes two pinks, two blues, or two greens. Yeah, exactly. If he finds exactly. two colors of the same color. So the question specifically says, Freda takes out random two counters from the box. You have to be careful here because it says she takes two counters. So what are the possible things that... So it then says, find in terms of X an expression for the probability 
that Freda takes two counters of the same color. So what's the first outcome, Kuali? First outcome will be pink, pink. Pink, pink. Second outcome? Be blue, blue. Blue, blue. And third outcome? Will be a green, green. Green, green. Now, notice I said that can happen, or that can happen, or that can happen. So, so this is a ad situation, isn't it? Yeah. So now, what's the probability that we can get two pinks? Um, probability will be x over three x, mm -hmm. and that will be times. So in brackets, and then it'll be times x minus yeah. one over three x minus one. So, the, so this is the basically a tree diagram now. X over three x. So she can get a pink, and then we multiply that by what? Um, so that's the probability that she can get a pink. And we multiply that by? The probability of getting pink a second time. The second time. And how many pinks are there now? So well, there's now, one less. Yeah. Right? So the total is 3x minus 1. Well, no. Isn't the total... No, it is 3x minus 1. Sorry, I was about to be stupid. It is 3x minus 1. Right? Because there's one less. So that's the probability of getting a pink pink. So that's a really better way because you know when I did it, I wasted time drawing, you know, like the two-way... Uh, yes, the, yes, the yes, exactly. Diagram. And and earlier when we were doing uh, the, the lesson between us, I was about to do that as well, right? Yeah, and it's so... It's, but you know, like it's three branches, this one. Yeah. It's so yeah. time It's going to take you forever. There's no point drawing a tree diagram here, right? Yeah. So then... And then you add that onto... So why did you minus one? It's because there's one less counter. We're picking two random counters at one time. We're not replacing them. Do you understand? So there's one less counter, there's one less pink, and there's out of one less pink. Okay? That was the first probability. You know, the <clears throat> x over 3x, that was the first one. Okay. And then left, we got second. And now, uh, blue, blue. What's the probability of getting blue, blue? Um, that would be 4 over 3x minus 1. So it would yeah, so... be 5 over 3x. Yeah, 5 over 3x. Then times by 4 over 3x minus 1. 4 over 3x minus 1. So you see, um, uh, Samir is saying, but sir, wouldn't there be two less pink? No, because look, on your second goal, you're taking the second pink, aren't you? You haven't taken it yet. We're just seeing the probability that it might get taken. So the probability it might get taken is one less pink than what there was in the first place. Do you understand? So uh, it's, yeah. do, do you get that? I'm sure you get that. I get that. So now we're adding that on uh, to, the, to the probability of getting two blues. Okay? Imagine there were like, what? Six pink counters. Just imagine. The probability... Just sitting there eating her yogurt. The probability of getting one pink... Some, suppose there are six... Pink counters. Suppose. I'm just giving you an example to understand this. The probability of getting a pink counter is 6 over Y, right? Right? But then on my second try, I've taken one pink. So now there are 5 over Y minus 1 of how much there used to be. Because I have to do 6 minus 1. It's on my second. I'm, I'm taking a second counter. It's not minus 2. I've only got one pink with me. I don't have two. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's the probability of getting two blues. Right? Now we're going to add that onto what, Kuali? Now we're going to add that onto green, green. Yeah, green, green. Two Which x is? 5 over 3x. So 2x plus 5 over 3x multiplied by? Um, 2x plus 4 over 3x minus 1. Well done. So now that's it. We've done the question. And we have to be really careful here that uh, we, we do everything properly now because because this is... No, no, it's not it. It's not it. This is not the answer. We now have to add these without making a mistake. So x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. And that's all over 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared. 3x times minus 1 minus 3x. Add... 5 times 4, which is 20, over, again, 9x squared minus 3x, plus, now, for this bit here, we have to be careful. 
So we got 2x plus 5 multiplied by 2x plus 4. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then we're going to get plus 8x plus, plus 10. 10x plus 20. Yes, so we're going to get that 50. We're not going to get that 50, are we? Oh, I've got... Yeah, hold so we're going to have 4x squared plus 18x plus 40 oh. over 9x squared um, minus 3x. Now, guys, we're just going to pause here for a second because I'm just thinking how are we going to get that Oh, sorry, there's a plus 20 here. How are we going to get that plus, uh, plus 50? There's something we've done wrong in the green probability. So you know the green is y minus x plus 5. Oh, um, it's, it's look, it's y is um, oh, such a rookie mistake. You know why? It's 3x yeah. minus x minus 5. So oh, it's yeah. 2x minus 5, not 2x plus 5. That will be... Like... That will get us the correct solution. But isn't it correct? Like x plus 5, my... what doesn't it give you that? Wait, so it's the same thing. We shouldn't do that. Right? Just let them know that we got it wrong and we moved on, if you know what I mean. No, I'm just going to edit it. So isn't it the same thing? Like y minus x plus 5 and y minus x minus 5? No, because now look, now look, the the green probability completely changes, doesn't it? Yeah, but like for example, ten minus three plus seven. No, 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 no. Look, if we get rid of the green probability, the green probability now we know is two x minus five, because we've mm. done a a rookie mistake of the minuses and the pluses. So now for the blue blue, it's it's two x minus five over three x. Plus, uh, times what quality? Um, sorry, times two x minus six. Over three okay. x minus one. Yeah. So now, if we multiply that out, right? What do we have? So we, uh, it, we have two x minus five, and then two x minus six. So two x times two x is four x squared. Minus a minus twelve x. Minus twelve x. Minus ten x. Minus 10x. Yeah, we're going to get it. Okay. Yeah, now we get, now we get yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Plus 30. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. So so the top numerator here is actually 4x squared minus 12x uh, minus 10x, which gives you... um What's minus 12 minus 10x? Minus 22x plus yeah. 30. Okay. So now the final answer is uh, the whole denominator is 9x cubed minus 3x. The next X squared, sir. Oh yeah, minus. Sorry, I was I was teaching um, cubic graphs before this. So nine x squared minus three x. X squared plus four x squared is five x squared. I'll let you do the uh, um honors quality. Yes, quality. Yes, so five x squared, and then minus twenty three x plus fifty. And that is the yes final answer, yes. guys. That is the final answer. That was the final answer. Just to clarify, you know the green probability we messed up at the start. So I still don't understand. Uh, uh, don't they mean the same thing? No, of course not. We messed up. We previously said that the green probability is y minus x plus 5, right? Look how sneaky the examiners are. You know if you know y equals to 3x, right? You know that, Samaya. Mm -hmm. You know y equals 3x, right? Yeah. So 3x minus plus x. That's minus x, right? Y plus um, x. Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And the plus here, we wrote plus 5. And that's wrong. Because there's sneaky examiners. And the minus here, and the plus makes a minus 5. Well, that's so the everything mistake Everything times by minus 1. Yeah, exactly. But why isn't... Don't we you know, yeah, no, 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 no. We're not really timesing it by minus one. Don't think of it like that, Smear. There's a minus and a plus and a minus and a plus, which makes a minus. Oh. Oh, but you get it. But they mean the same thing, right? When you think about it, y minus x plus five and y minus minus five. 
No, 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 because there's now this gives you 2x minus 5, whereas before we had 2x plus 5. Yeah, but so like, let's say, for example, you have 10 minus yeah. 5 plus 3. Okay, if you have 10. Minus 5 plus 3 brackets. In brackets like this. Yeah, it will give you that. 10 minus 8. But if you did 10 minus no, 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 5 no, no, minus no, no, no. 3. So this is, so this is different. Because bid math says do brackets first. Yeah, so 10, minus... 10 minus 8, right? Yeah. And if you did 10 minus 5 minus 3, that would still give you 8. No, no, no. Because look, you know here we have X, right? Mm -hmm. We have an unknown term. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you have 10 minus 5 plus 3, this is pure bid mass. You have to do what's in the brackets. But this is an unknown term. Do you get it? Oh, okay. Do you understand? It's, it's completely different here. Mm. Right? Yeah, can you please take a screenshot? Yes, of course. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry for the rookie beautiful mistake question. there. Yeah, it was a beautiful question. It, it Basically, three topics put together. Algebraic fractions, ratio, and probability tree diagrams. Okay? Wait, sir, before we go, right, can we not give someone mind his question? Because he did ask. We owed him. Because we did similar. Well, why are you putting on me and uh, putting me the pressure on me whilst I'm recording? I'm just going to end the recording here.